Guys, you know how most programming tutorials just throw jargon at you and hope it sticks? Yeah, we're not doing that today. My name is Daniel, and today we are taking a practical, beginner-friendly look at something that shows up in almost every corner of the tech world – OpenJDK. If you've ever wondered what it is, how it works, or why developers keep bringing it up, this video will walk you through all of it. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Now let's get into it. So guys, what exactly is OpenJDK? Think of it as the free open source version of Java. For those of you who don't know, it's one of the most popular programming languages in the world, powering everything from mobile apps to enterprise software. The stack is basically the reference implementation of the Java platform, standard edition. It's maintained by Oracle and the Java community, and it's completely free to use, folks. Now, folks, here's how it works under the hood. This thing includes the Java Virtual Machine, which is like a translator between your code and your computer's operating system. It also includes the Java class library, which is basically a huge collection of pre-written code that developers can use. When you write code, the OpenJDK compiler turns it into something called bytecode. It can run on any computer that has the Java Virtual Machine installed, guys. The beauty of this system is platform independence. You write your code once, and it runs everywhere without modification. Whether you're on Windows, Mac, or Linux, your Java application will work exactly the same way. It handles all the complex stuff, like memory management and system interactions, automatically. Folks, it's like having a universal translator for your code that works across different operating systems. What makes it special is that it's completely open source. This means anyone can look at the source code, suggest improvements, or even contribute fixes. The development process is transparent, and there's a massive community of developers working to make it better every day. Guys, before we move on, let's talk about a big issue for Java developers. What do you do when your version of OpenJDK reaches end of life and no more security patches are coming in? The versions of this tag only get official support for a limited time. Once that support ends, security risks start piling up. But upgrading to a new version can cause serious problems. It might break your CI-CD pipelines or mess with your production workflows. Fortunately, folks, Taxcare offers endless lifecycle support for languages and runtimes, which delivers end-of-life patches to your outdated OpenJDK versions as well as for other open-source projects like Spring. Beyond that, Taxcare also offers endless lifecycle support for open-source applications. If you are working with Java applications via Apache Tomcat, OpenSearch, Apache Hadoop, and so on, and your version is out of support, Taxcare will send you patches, even for other ecosystems, like PostgreSQL. It only takes two steps to install ELS, guys, with no migration needed. Once it's activated, your open-source applications will get continuous security updates through OS-level patching. You can also hook it into centralized monitoring tools and speed up certain WordPress features if needed. Guys, check out the link in the description to learn more about Taxcare's ELS. Thanks a lot to Taxcare for sponsoring me. And now back to the video. Now, my friends, this is where things get a bit confusing for newcomers. You've got OpenJDK and Oracle JDK, and people often wonder what the difference actually is. Here's the simple explanation. Oracle JDK is Oracle's commercial distribution of OpenJDK with some additional features and support options. Think of OpenJDK as the base recipe, and Oracle JDK as the premium version with extra ingredients. Both are built from the same core codebase, so the fundamental Java functionality is identical. Guys, the main differences come down to licensing, support, and some additional tools. Oracle JDK comes with commercial support from Oracle, which means if something breaks, you can call them for help. OpenJDK is completely free to use, distribute, and modify. Oracle JDK requires a paid license for commercial use, though it's free for development and personal use. For most developers and companies, OpenJDK is perfectly fine and does everything you need it to do. And folks, the performance between the two is essentially identical because they are built from the same source code. Oracle JDK includes some additional monitoring and management tools that aren't in the base OpenJDK distribution. But honestly, unless you're running massive enterprise applications, you probably won't miss these features. Many major companies and organizations use OpenJDK in production without any issues. Guys, the choice often comes down to whether you need commercial support or prefer to rely on community support. Alright guys, here's something cool about this thing that many people don't realize. You don't need to be a professional developer 
to contribute to this project. There are tons of ways to help out, even if you're just starting your programming journey. The community is surprisingly welcoming to newcomers. One of the easiest ways to contribute folks is through documentation. The project always needs help with writing guides, fixing typos, and making technical documentation more accessible. If you are good at explaining complex things in simple terms, this is perfect for you. You can also help by testing new releases and reporting bugs when you find them. Translation is another area where the community needs help, my friends. Making Java documentation available in different languages helps developers worldwide. If you speak multiple languages, this could be your way into the community. Code reviews are also valuable, even from beginners. Fresh eyes often catch things that experienced developers miss. And for those ready to dive into actual coding, start small, guys. Look for issues labeled as good first issue or beginner friendly in the bug tracker. These are specifically chosen to help newcomers get started. The community provides mentorship and guidance to help you through your first contributions. Don't be intimidated by the size of the project. Every major contributor started with small fixes and improvements. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Now, my friends, let's talk about where OpenJDK actually gets used in the real world. The answer might surprise you because Java is literally everywhere. Most Android apps are built using Java, which means your smartphone is probably running Java code right now. Major websites like Netflix, Amazon, and Google rely heavily on Java for their backend systems. Enterprise software is probably Java's biggest playground, guys. Banks, insurance companies, and large corporations use Java for their mission-critical applications. It's reliable, secure, and has been battle-tested for decades. If you've ever used online banking or filed insurance claims online, you've probably interacted with Java applications. Web development is another huge area for Java folks. Frameworks like Spring make it easy to build powerful web applications and APIs. Many of those REST APIs that mobile apps connect to are built with Java. E-commerce platforms often use the language because it handles high traffic loads really well. Scientific computing and data analysis also rely heavily on Java. Tools like Apache Spark and Elasticsearch are built on it, guys. Big data processing, machine learning pipelines, and research applications often use the language because of its performance and scalability. Even Minecraft, one of the most popular games ever made, runs on Java. Desktop applications, server software, and embedded systems all use it in various ways. Okay, folks, if you're convinced that learning Java and using OpenJDK is worth your time, let's talk about getting started. The first step is downloading and installing the thing on your computer. You can get it directly from the official website or through package managers on your operating system. Most Linux distributions include it in their software repositories. Once you have it installed, guys, you can start writing Java code with any text editor. However, using an integrated development environment like IntelliJ IDEA or Eclipse makes life much easier. These tools provide code completion, debugging, and project management features that speed up development significantly. Start with simple programs like Hello World and basic calculator applications. Folks, Java has excellent online documentation and tutorials to help you learn the language. The Oracle Java tutorials are comprehensive and free, covering everything from basic syntax to advanced topics. And don't rush through the fundamentals. Understanding object-oriented programming concepts is crucial for success with Java. Practice is absolutely key to becoming proficient with Java and OpenJDK guys. Build small projects, contribute to open source repositories, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. The Java community is generally helpful and supportive of newcomers. Join forums, attend meetups, and connect with other Java developers to accelerate your learning. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Hopefully now OpenJDK doesn't sound like some mysterious developer thing anymore. It's free, powerful, and literally everywhere, from your phone to the backend of huge websites. And what's great about it is that you can start using it today without spending a single dollar. If you have ever wanted to dip your toes into Java, folks, or just explore how real-world software runs, this is honestly one of the best ways to begin. So give it a shot, download it, play around with it, build a little something. Let me know in the comments if you're planning to try it or if you've already used it before. What did you build with it? What are you stuck on? I read all the comments and love hearing your thoughts. 
feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.